All right, guys, we're going to work on uh, Saxon Math Lesson 96. The first thing that you want to make sure you do is that you are going to read page 607 and 608. You want to do that before we do the lesson practice. And also remember that when we're doing the lesson, if I move too quickly, you can always pause the video and uh, catch up or you can also rewind if you need to go over something again. So we're going to start with lesson practice number A, which is on page 608. The question says, in three classrooms, there were 24, 26, and 28 children. What was the average number of children per classroom? So the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out what the numbers are that you're working with. So we've got 24, 26 and 28. We need to take those numbers out. We're going to work with those by adding them together. So we're going to add those three numbers for the three different classrooms together. So we're going to start by adding 6 and 4, that's 10, that's an easy one, and 8, so that's 18. So you've got eight ones, and we carry our uh, 10 to the tens column. There was one 10 and 18. Then we're going to add our tens up. So we've got two, four, six, seven. 78. So in those three classrooms, there were a total of 78 kids. The question says, what was the average number of children per classroom? So what I need to do is I need to count how many numbers I added together. So I added three numbers. There was one, two, three numbers that were added together. So I'm going to take my sum, oops, I messed up there. I'm going to take my sum and I'm going to divide it by how many numbers there are in this problem. So my sum was 78. So I need to take 78 and I'm going to divide it by three because there were three numbers. So my new problem is 78 divided by 3. Okay, so let's go over this division problem real quick. We've got uh, 3 will go into 7. We're going to do long division. So 3 goes into 7. How many times? Well, it's going to go in there 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. That's too big. So it's definitely going to be 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. We're going to put that right below the 7. We make sure it's lined up. And we're going to subtract. We're going to find the difference. So we've got 7 minus 6 is 1. And then we're going to drop down our 8. And that gives us 18. So we have a new division problem. So we've got uh, 18 divided by 3. So 3 goes into 18 how many times? Let's see. Well, 3 times 7 is 21. That's too big. And 3 times 5 is 15. That's too small. Straight. 3 times 6 is 18. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go with 6 right here. 6 times 3 is 18. So I did 6 times 3 is 18. And I'm going to subtract. And I'm left with 0, which is good. There's no remainder. Okay. So my quotient for 78 divided by 3 is 26. Now, that's my answer. That's my average of 24, 26, and 28. But since this is a word problem, I want to make sure that I write my answer in a way that answers the question. It says, what was the average number of children per classroom? Well, the answer is going to be using this part for my label. So the answer is 26 children. And then I like to circle my answer so that uh, everybody knows what my answer is there. So I got all my work shown and I have my answer circled with the label. Okay, we're going to go to question B. All right, so B is on page 609 and it says there were two stacks of books on the shelf. One with 17 books and the other with 11 books. Allison moved some books from the taller stack to the shorter stack 
so that the numbers of books in the two stacks were equal. When she finished, how many books were in each stack? All right, so this time we have uh, two numbers in our problem, and they are 17 and 11. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we're going to take those numbers out. We're going to add them together, 17 plus 11. All right, so 17 and 11 is, well, seven, we're going to start with our ones column. 7 plus 1 is 8. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have two tens. All right. So the total number, oh, I got a call coming in. I want to decline that. Okay, so the total number uh, of books that Allison has is 28. So we've got 28 books. So that's going to be our dividend when we divide this. So I'm going to go ahead and write my little division problem here. Now, in order to find out what I divide by, I need to count how many numbers I added. Well, there's two numbers here. We've got one and two. So we're going to divide by two. And in case you're uncertain, we've got the uh, 28 is going there and the two is going there. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and move over to dividing. So we've got 28 divided by 2. So 2 is going to go into 2 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. Then we subtract, and we're left with 0. And then we're going to drop down our 8. We have a new dividend. 2 goes into 8. How many times? 2 times what is 8? It's 4. So 4 times 2 is 8. We're going to put that right there. And then we're going to subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. There's no remainder. That's good. So uh, the total amount of books on each stack is going to be 14. So that's my answer the quotient. There's the answer. But I need a label. It says when she finished, how many books were in each stack? How many books. So this books is going to be my label. So we've got to make sure we write our answer, 14 books. And I'm going to circle it. All right. So that was question B. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go to number C. It says Spencer's scores on his first three games were 85, 85, and 100. What was the average of his first three game scores? So the first thing I want to do is I want to find my numbers in this problem. They're 85, 85, and 100. So I'm going to take those numbers out and I'm going to add them together. So we've got 85, 85, and 100. We're going to add those up. So we've got 5 plus 5 plus 0, which is 10. We're going to carry the, uh, the we're going to leave the 0 here. We're going to carry the 1, because uh, 10 ones is 110. We're going to carry that to the tens column. And then we have uh, 8 plus 8 plus 1. So 16, that's 17 tens. So we're going to put 7 of the tens here, and we're going to carry 10 of the tens to our 100s column, because uh, that 17, that's, we're going to carry that right there. So we've got, now we have 200s to add. We've got 270. So his total points scored in all three games was 270. But I want to know what his average score is. So I'm going to count how many numbers I added together right here. So we've got one, two, three numbers. All right. Let me go ahead and mute my other computer one second. Got people sending me messages. All right. So we have uh, three numbers here, and we have 270 as our total. So this 270 is going to become our dividend and our division problem. And we have three numbers being added together. So we're going to divide. Our divisor is going to be three. So we're going to divide 270 by 3. 
Now, three won't divide into two. I can't do that. So I'm going to have to go one more over, and I'm going to have to divide into 27. So three, go, three times what is 27? Well, I know the answer is 9. So we've got 9 times 3 is 27. We're going to subtract. 27 minus 27 is 0. And we're going to drop down this number here, which gives us 0. And we have a new dividend. 3 goes into 0 how many times? Well, 0. 0 times 3 is 0. So we're going to put 0 here. 0 times 3 is 0. We subtract, and we're left with no remainder. All right. So our answer, our quotient, for 270 divided by 3 is 90. But since this is a word problem, I need to make sure I label it. So Spencer's scores on his first three games were 85, 85, and 100. What was the average of his first three game scores? Well, when we're talking about scores, we're probably talking about points, right? So we're not going to write 90 scores. We're going to talk about points. So I'm going to write 90 points. He doesn't have 90 scores. That's that's Maybe they're going by two points or three points. We don't really know. So we're going to write 90 points. He got 90 points. His average score over three games was 90 points. All right. That's it.